Jefferson Gardens was first laid out in 1831 as an informal riverside walk. The land was named and developed in the, into the formal gardens after 1846. They were named in honour of Dr Henry Jefferson, a famous doctor who had promoted the town as a spa. Originally, the settling beds for the town's water supply, Mill Gardens, was landscaped as part of the improvements to the River Lem in 1901-1903. They were restored by Warwick District Council in the early 2000s with help from the Heritage Lottery Fund grant for over £3 million. Jefferson Gardens and Mill Gardens are part of, a, of the Spa Gardens, a ribbon of riverside parks in Leamington that are listed as Grade 2 on the English Heritage Registry of Historic Parks and Gardens. I bet you're wondering what Jefferson Gardens has to do with bees. Well, the Warwick and Leamington Beekeepers Association is in close contact with Jefferson Gardens. They've recently put a hive of bees in the gardens and this is to promote beekeeping and bees themselves. Once the hive is settled, they will be moving it into the glass house, an indoor housing area for tropical trees and plants. The hive will be moved there so guests to the park and members of the public will be able to see into the hive and how it works. The bees will be trained to be able to go up and down a pipe to get in and out of the glass house from their hive. I recently did a survey to see what people really know about bees and it's quite astonishing how little people really know. I asked simple questions like, how many bees are in a hive, how many queens are in a hive, and more questions like that. For those of you who don't know, there are roughly around 20,000 to 80,000 bees in a hive and only one queen. Here are some beekeepers and aspiring beekeepers talking about bees and how they got into bees. Why did I want to be a beekeeper? Uh, mainly for me it was something that um, was uh, a part of my childhood, so my, my father always kept bees. And, uh, and now I'm a bit older and uh, got a bit more time on my hands, I decided it was something I wanted to learn all about. At the moment I don't have any hives, but I'm really lucky to be able to come to the, uh, to the site here. They've got loads to learn uh, from, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's quite good. Um, would I get any honey from my bees? I'm hoping to, yes. Um, I've, I've put my super onto my beehive this week, in fact, so I'm hoping over the next few weeks I will get some honey, yes. I think I probably would want at least three or four hives if I can find the space or somewhere to put them. Why did I want to be a beekeeper? Well, over a few years I've seen various beekeepers at events that I've been to and I just really fancied doing it. I've got an allotment, I love my garden and also um, the, the plight of the bees dying just made me want to try and help them. So that's my main reason, I think. How did I find out about the association? I was talking to a beekeeper at an event and, and it was advertised through our local allotment so I went online and booked it through there. Any hives yourself? Do I have any hives myself? Yes, I have two hives. I started off with one nucleus hive this year and they swarm, well they were about to swarm so we've now split them into two so I now have two hives. We've been keeping bees about seven years now. At, well, we're in the middle of swarm control at the moment, so we have a lot more hives than we would normally have, but we're at about 20 at the moment. Oh, wow. We normally try to keep down to about 12 hives. Charles, who has kept bees for seven years, is going to talk you through the process of swarming. The swarm process is, is natural reproduction with the bees. Um, and it normally happens in springtime. Um, the, you'll have an existing queen in the hive and uh, she will be laying eggs in there. And then the worker bees will decide that um, it's time to have a new colony go off there so that there's a young queen in there. And the actual swarming process is after the worker bees have decided to convert some of the normal cells into queen cells and when they when those queen cells are hatched the queen or rather the worker bees will know it's time or the fly, for the flying bees and the queen to leave and go and find a new hive to live in 
leaving the colony which has the sealed queen cells in there to develop into a new colony in its own right. After the queen cells have been sealed, eight days later the new queen will hatch out and she'll spend probably about a week or so in there building herself up, eating food, getting herself strong and then she'll go out on the mating flight. Uh, and on the mating flight hopefully she will find some drones to mate with, the male bees. She'll probably mate with a number of different drones and then she will come back to the hive and within about a week, all being well, she will be laying new eggs in there and we'll have, the whole process will start again. But hopefully within one year um, you'll only have one swarm coming off the colony if you've controlled it properly.